I'm going to be a billion percent honest when I say this. Like, the main reason why I act like this is primarily because I was one of 11 disabled siblings. And my disability compared to the rest of my siblings ain't shit. Like, okay, there's one other disability that wasn't ain't shit compared to, like, mine as well as compared to everybody else's. Like, I literally grew up with siblings that were bedridden, wheelchair-ridden, siblings that literally could not control their faculties. So, therefore, when they had the shit, they had the shit. When they had the piss, they had the piss. There was no, hey, could I go to the restroom? There's no, hey, will you help me? There's no, hey. So, like, for me personally, it's just like, you can't tell me I'm disabled when I can go for a walk whenever the fuck I want to. You can't tell me I'm disabled because I can run whenever the fuck I want to. You can't tell me I'm disabled. I can get down and get up without any assistance. You can't tell me I'm disabled. Um, sir, you actually have congestive heart failure and pulmonary hypertension. What the fuck does that mean? Does that mean I shouldn't be able to look like this guy? Does that mean I shouldn't be able to do these squats? Does that mean I shouldn't be able to do this? Does that mean I shouldn't be able to do this? Like, what does that mean? What does it mean to be disabled, honestly, 100%? Because, I, like I said, I had siblings that couldn't get out of bed. Siblings that couldn't go for walks. Siblings that couldn't even vocalize their fucking feelings. So when you tell me that I am disabled, I'm, I'm a little confused. Like, I, I didn't, I've never even thought about trying to be on disability network or even try to get like a disabled fucking license plate for the fact that the matter is, I can open my own door. I can make my own decisions. Now, I can't say I always make the best decisions, but <laughs> I can make my own decisions. I can do so many things that I watch my siblings couldn't do. So to me, I'm like, I'm not disabled. The fuck you mean? And then because I realize how society treats people that have a blind disability like I do, it's like, hmm. <laughs> like, I'm a little slow when it comes to social adventures and like social interactions, trying to figure out um, what do these words mean? Like, reading the room temperature, trying to figure out if people are actually enjoying my time or just enjoying the things I do for them. And it's just like, <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I am disabled. But I wouldn't say physically. Like I definitely brainwashed myself on top of the fact of having that example of different forms of disability. I should let the dog out. Doofus! That's a couple more minutes. Fuck, no, no, doggy will probably shut up if I let it out. I'll be back in a second. Party, it's your birthday. Get out there and do some party. Go, go. Come on, girl, how are you going to be barking at me to let you out and you're not even going to go outside? Go, go, go pity, it's your potty time, it's time to let the potty out, go pity, no, 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 girl, mm -mm. you get 15 minutes, girl, don't be looking at me like you want to be letting already, you ain't even spent your 15 minutes out there yet, go, go pity, get out there and do your potty, alright, that's the point, fuck, what was the point, oh, disabled, not feeling it, don't realize I am, like, me. Like, at this point in time and in existence, if somebody says, oh, I don't believe you're disabled, I'm going to take it as a compliment, like, oh, you want to fuck me, don't you? Because you're not supposed to want to fuck disabled people, because how most of social media depicts disabled people are ugly people that are slow, as well as just, like, they need a lot of help and assistance. It's like, no, wait, I suck out. We all have idiotic moments, I believe that, at least. As well as we all have stupid and or smart friends that are successful. And she's like, how the fuck did this idiot do this shit? Huh. Well, congratulations for them anyways. And at the end of the day, like... I guess the only one that needs to believe is me. And I, I struggle to believe that I'm disabled. But then I get chest pains. I'm like, oh! Pretty sure now other people do that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. But no, nine times out of ten, I literally forget I'm disabled. And honestly, I'm just going to throw this in just for the hell of it, just because this is how my mind works. If I don't look at my reflection or look at a mirror, I even forget my own ethnicity. I shit you not. Sometimes I forget I'm black. I know I've mentioned that one other time in the video, but I'm just because we're on it right now. I don't just forget that I'm disabled because of the way that I act physically. I just generally forget shit. And for the fact that, like I said, I had multiple disabled siblings that were far beyond disabled. Like they were way worse than I am. It's like, how... I can't be disabled, and for the fact that I had quote-unquote normal people around me and I was in a lot more normal classes, it's just like, they're not going to let me lift up my shirt all the time, and they kind of did. I got away with lifting up my shirt a lot in school. It was ridiculous. Most of the kids knew me at school as the person with the second belly button. Be what? Girl, I'll let you out. Do you? Hey, hey, hey. i let you out. You're supposed to be in potty. What are you yelling at me for? I'll let you out. What are you being sassy for? Girl, can I get a word in? 
Do you want to go back inside? Hey, 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 Miss Sassy. Do you want to go back inside? Well, you saw you had to. Hey, hey, hey. Not with all that attitude. Girl, don't be so sassy to me. Calm it. Calm. Hey. Good girl. Now, do you want to go back inside? Do you want to go get one bark for yes, two barks for no? Hey. Excuse me, Miss Sassy. Do you want to go back inside? One bark for yes, two barks for no. I'm going to take a no bark as a no as well. Miss Sassy, anyways, back to the point. <sighs> Shit. Miss Sassy, you got me messed up. I don't remember what the point was. I don't know. It was hard for me to believe I'm disabled. It still is hard for me to believe. Like, even with the chest pain, I'm just like, eh. 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 I don't think I need a disabled card. I'll beat the shit out of fucking quote unquote normal people. The fuck am I? Like, you put me in the disability uh, Olympics or something like that. Oh, yeah. And I like, I just, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. And that's just more or less because I've been myself 24 7. Like, I don't know what 100 feels like. I don't know what other people feel like. Like, I feel as if I can feel their feelings, but at the end of the day, like, to feel what their body feels like, to feel what motivates them at the end of the day, like, I don't know that, but I just do know that even though I identify with the disabled community, I ain't part, I ain't with them. Fuck you mean? <laughs> I'll outdo the normal community half the times. Like, I'm more into the athletic community, but it's like, sir, you're not even supposed to be here. It says here in your medical records, you're not supposed to be doing shit. Doctor recommend a lot of bed rest. What the fuck's your bed? Why are you sleeping on the floor, motherfucker? It's because I'm foreign. And because the floor feels better. No, no, I swear I fucking wake up less sore on the floor than I do on the bed. But recently I have been sleeping on the couch. It was better than the last couch. I started sleeping on the floor from the last couch. This couch is kind of working up, but I might move my way onto the floor again. I did sleep on the floor for a year. I loved it. Never once woke up sore. This has nothing to do with everything else. I'm just explaining to you guys how fucked up my brain is. And every chance that I get to, I will, because you don't have to believe that I'm disabled, because I don't even believe I'm disabled. And I'm the one with the disabilities! <laughs> Either way, as long as I'm entertaining and not a menace to society, and a menace to the community, because I probably am a little bit of a menace to the government, because of the fact that I believe in love, education, and peace, and they want war, uh, cognitive dissonance, and despair! And I'm just like, eh, why do we gotta worry about this? At the end of the day, while well, they're trying to divide us, I'm trying to unite us. What can we find in common? Like, damn, we both love fat asses. Damn, we both love video games. Damn, we both love beautiful women. Damn, we both love women. Damn, we both love pretty people. Because, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, the most homosexual thought that I thought was, like, God damn, that's a handsome individual. That man could not meet my woman because I'm afraid. She, and I know in low-key that might seem like I have a type. But it's like, no, no, no. If she don't even try to leave me for him, I'm going to question if she even likes men. Because, girl, that's, like... God made him specially to make other men realize they ain't shit on this planet. And that's why he likes men, too, because, like, women can't have him either. Like, I'm glad he likes men, but I hope he don't like me. I don't know. I might break. I'm kidding. I'm a comedian at the end of the day because of all the trauma and torture I went through as a child. I decided to become a comedian instead of a psycho killer because those are the only two pathways I can go right now. I'm an orphan. I've been molested. I've been raped. I've been lied to. I've been gaslit. I literally have family that are just friends that I could but never would fuck because that's ill. That's that's bro. That's sis. That's unk. That's no. That's no. And that's what I'm going to raise my kids to believe too. Like family is those that you love, those that you respect, and those that love and respect you too. Just because these are your siblings and just because they're biologically related to you. Yeah, you can cut them off too. I don't give a fuck. Daddy's not going to be upset, especially if they're assholes. Now, I'm not going to raise y'all to be assholes to each other, but hey, y'all going to do what the fuck y'all going to do. I'm just going to do my best. That's all I can do. I don't have any kids, so essentially I'm just teaching. I don't know who the fuck's listening. I don't know who the fuck's coming to class, but, like, welcome to the session. <laughs> Either way. So, what, you don't want to go inside now, Miss Sassy? What, you ain't going to give me no more lip? She don't even give a shit no more. <laughs> Gave me all that lip for nothing. So, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not trying to say don't respect people's disabilities. Just realize that. All disabilities come in so many different shapes, way, shapes, sizes, and forms. Just take with a grain of salt just because people will lie just for fuck, fucking sake of lying. But I am more of an honest person. I am a liar. I only lie when y'all don't want to accept the truth. And it's like, fuck it. <laughs> if you want to accept the truth, I might as well create a story that you'll accept. Because, well, you weren't taking reality anyway. So I might as well get fantastic with the fantasy. This is... <laughs>